All right, good afternoon. It is a fantastic Friday. Let me see what date it is. It is May 1st, first day of May. It's been a fair May day up here. I think in France it's a special day because I, on my WhatsApp French family text, there were a bunch of uh, flowers that my wife's family took pictures of and sent us. So I think May Day in France might be a big deal. I don't know. I'll have to ask her um, later on. But happy May Day all to you. May 1st. We are week 5, day 5. That's right. Day 25 of MBMS Remote. It's flying by. It goes by both quickly and slowly at the same time. They say when you have a a baby miss walding told me this she said long days fast years and i think that's kind of how i feel about this it feels like the days are long but fast weeks it's already been five weeks that we've had official school days and we've had spring break and we had a dead week so it's been a while i just kind of boggles my mind how quickly time is going but when i'm in it it feels like it's not going very fast. Started today with a meeting. Sixth grade group got together, talked about some of you students, make, trying to make sure everybody's on track. It was a really fun meeting. Um, I logged in a half hour late. I was debating whether or not I would talk about this because it was embarrassing for me. But I think it's important too because I just want you to know that this is a complicated time. My meeting last Friday with the um, science department, I guess it was two Fridays ago, was at nine. And so I, that number nine Friday just stuck in my mind. And so I showed up at nine and I was like, oh, I'll get there a little early. Check in with some of the sixth grade teachers. And I logged into Google Meet and there were 12 people there and they're in the middle of a conversation. And I was just like, oh, oops. All of our staff meetings are starting at 8.30. So what the point of this story is, is that this is a difficult time. There's lots of different things to manage. Our, our time is not very structured. You know, there's no bell. Ooh, maybe I should have a bell. That'd be kind of cool. There's no bell that says eight o'clock, get to work. So that is a life skill you're picking up right now that you need to structure your own time. And your parents can help with that. Miss Maddox made my daughters a really great chart with different things to do at different times that's a life skill and to be honest it's not a life skill that i'm especially strong at as evidenced by my late appearance of the meeting this morning and when i got to college that was a big one because i didn't have anyone else telling me where to go when to go how to do it and there was a little bit of a learning curve for me and my roommate barry he never went to class and he had a hard time so I did learn a little bit then, but being a school teacher, like I am, it helps me because I need that structure in my life. It really helps that I have periods and um, quarters of the year and all these you know, holidays that kind of keep my life in order. Basically, my entire life has been on the school system since kindergarten, and it's weird not to live on that schedule. So this, this has been a challenge for me that way. I was embarrassed that I was late to the meeting. It wasn't really a big deal in the end but i just want to let you know that we're making mistakes all the time and that's okay it's a new process and it's going to make you have better time management later in your life so that part's good all right so hopefully you're having a fantastic friday i do have a birthday today bd from fourth period her birthday is today on may 1st happy birthday bd um i'll also do a couple i didn't think of this earlier but why not let's do a couple weekend birthdays because we won't i won't have a video over the weekend how do i get there I'm going to show Mr. Ryberg how to do this uh, later on. It's pretty easy. Um, Leah Tutman birthday is on Sunday. So happy birthday, BD and Leah. Hope you have a good birthdays. Mr. Ryberg's daughter, Svea, had her second birthday last or yesterday. So we got uh, went to Safeway, got a couple balloons. They might have said happy Mother's Day on them, but I think they said happy birthday. Anyway, drove by Mr. Ryberg's house, gave Svea... Svea uh, two balloons and she seemed appreciative she seemed like she's having a good birthday party I want to give mr. Ryberg some props for having a social distancing birthday party he had different sections of his yard for different people in different circles and he did it 
safe. His wife is in the medical field, so maybe it was more of a Mrs. Ryberg thing. But I want to give Mr. Ryberg some props, too. All right, so where was I? Today, we are talking about cell wall. Here it is. I don't know why I always look behind me. I know it's there. I have it here, too, don't I? Uh, they're only found in plants, fungi, and bacteria. They are outside of the cell membrane and protect the cell and give the plant strength. So yesterday, I said that cells or animal cells have a cell membrane. They do not have a cell wall, but plant cells have both. And the cell wall is outside the cell membrane. Okay. Uh, reminds me of there were two mushrooms at a party and one mushroom went up to the other one and said, hey, you're a fungi. Anyway, fungi also have cell walls and, and some bacteria. So why is that important for a plant, for example? Well, plants don't have bones. They don't have an exoskeleton like insects do. Every animal, this, besides ones that don't, like jellyfish, they have like cartilage and things, but they either have a skeleton or an exoskeleton. So I love that in science. You always get everything has this except this, 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 and this. Every mammal has live birth except for the platypus. You get a lot of accepts in science. It can be a little frustrating. But what was I saying? Plants, cell walls, why are they important? It's Friday. It's almost five o'clock. I'm later um, in my recording. I'll tell you why in a second. Plants need cell walls for structure and rigidity. What holds them up? And it's primarily made up of a molecule called cellulose. And cellulose is a very uh, valuable molecule. We use it for a lot of different things like we use wood for firewood. That's mainly cellulose burning. We use it for paper. We use it for the all important toilet paper and things like that. So cell walls to repeat are important for the structure and the rigidity of a plant. All right, so the reason why I'm recording later today is that I, Mr. Cutter and I were planning on doing a short hike to go do some jar identification down at the creek, and he got caught up with too much grading, so he wasn't able to make it. I was going to have Mr. Cutter be my guest speaker today down at the creek, and that didn't happen, so I can smell the charcoal. I got some charcoal going on the barbecue. I'm going to slow cook a tri-tip tonight, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully, you have some fun Friday activities over the weekend just got some new restrictions or lessening of restrictions from santa cruz the beach one it's a little unclear to me even now but i'm going to look into that and give you a report exactly on monday what's happening the good news is for me and others that enjoy golf is back and it's thought it was going to be back on monday but it's actually back tomorrow saturday may 2nd so i might go out to seascape or day law for a little twilight session or maybe Sunday. So maybe I'll see you out on the golf course, maybe on a walk, wave from a safe social distance, stay safe, get your work done, finish up the assignments this week for my class that are due on Sunday. I'll be grading those on Monday and Tuesday. And I'm really enjoying making these videos. And thank you to my guest earlier this week, Mr. Dixon. And like I said, stay safe, have a great weekend, and I will see you next time.